What's going on everybody? Robinson here. Wanted to do, I know it's been probably about three or four weeks since I've done any sort of YouTube video regarding my rehab. Um, there's been several reasons for this. One, I've been really busy. And I really haven't felt like shooting a video, putting it up, clipping it, and then slapping my intro on it. So part of that's just being lazy. Um, two, I was in a bad spot mentally for a little while, just like really, really frustrated with everything going on. Um, and now three, uh, just cause like, I don't know. I have some people that follow me on Instagram. If you don't follow me, that's where you should be. Cause I put a lot more updates and things that are going on there than here. But I feel like my rehab and everything is kind of boring and not very eventful. And I don't think they'll let me film. So I haven't really been like talking about it or showing anything because I don't know. I just don't, I don't think it's anything exciting. And here's the reason why I'm saying that. Um, a lot of the stuff I'm doing to me, and, and this is what I'm going to get to, I actually posted this on my Instagram story the other night, so if you've watched it, you'll know where my rant is about to go. Um, you know, they're giving me mobility and use of the arm. Okay, well, the mobility and the range of motion I've had for quite some time now, from, you know, full supination to pronation to fully extending it to fully contracting it. Okay, we, we've been doing this now for a long time. My concern is this. We haven't done much, in my opinion, in Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know what the protocol for this injury is. I don't have a lot of friends in the physical therapy field that I can kind of bounce ideas off of. But they're not used to someone in my kind of shape coming into that kind of office, one. And two, I don't know if they know how to program or, or, or create a program for me to strengthen my arm to the level that it was prior to the injury. That's, you know, maybe it's my ego getting a hold of me. Uh, I'm not Mr. Macho Man, but that's what I feel like. I, I feel like I'm not really doing any strength work to start developing the strength of the tendon itself. Uh, now, I'm not expecting to go curl 60 pounds tomorrow. Obviously, I know this is a, a slower rehab process, which I'm okay, completely okay with. But the other day on Monday, after curling 10 pounds for about a week, with no difficulty or pain, um, just some stiffness, I would say, uh, mainly feeling in the forearm, probably where they reattached it. Um, I don't, you know, I looked at my physical therapist and I'm like, well, you know, when are we going to go up and wait here? I've been doing 10 pounds for like a week, week and a half. Like, it's not hard. It's not challenging. I have no pain. You know, and he, they looked at me and like, oh, well, we don't really have any weights above 10 pounds. And I go, so is it that I'm not able to move up or is it that there's no weight? And it was kind of like this. So. I'm not bashing the physical therapist or the physical therapist's office. I just don't know if they're equipped to do what I need them to do. And I could be wrong. So a lot of the exercises I've been doing have been involving my hand grip, uh, moving you know like some uh, heavy duty clothes pins, the actual hand grip itself, um, taking um, like an end of a crutch and doing ro rotational work with it with like a two pound weight. Um, I've been doing some straight arm lat pull downs with a resistance band, not difficult, um, not even enough resistance to do much of anything. So I've been wrapping the band around my hands a couple times just to try to get full resistance out of the band as much as I can. Um, banded rows with both arms, same same resistance that I'm doing with the lat pull down, um, not difficult or hard. Um, and then they had me like on a resistance bike. So I've, without their saying yes or no of what I can or can't do. I've been upping the resistance every time I go in. So I've worked my way up to like a seven resistance for about two minutes forwards and two minutes backwards just to challenge myself. Uh, and then they've been having me do some like rotational work, which is more for, in my opinion, the, rota the rotator cuff. So I don't understand how that all ties in to developing my the, the bicep muscle or strengthening the bicep tendon. You know, I can understand doing some of the rotator stuff, maybe, if I had torn the bicep from the, the shoulder down, but I didn't. I tore, tore it from the elbow. So I'm not sure how all of this ties in. Um, and then light bicep curls and tricep kickbacks with no more than the 10 pounds worth of weight. Um, so it's just kind of very frustrating for me because I feel like as the physical therapy goes on, I should be progressing into trying to get the size and the strength back so that by the time I'm done with physical therapy, I should be able to resume full normal activity to an extent versus where I feel like, okay, 
the tendon and the bone have healed, you're good to go. Okay, now you're basically redeveloping all the strength and size on your own for the next six months. I didn't understand, that's not how I understood what this whole process was gonna be. And in about another week, um, not April 1st, but the following week, like April 9th or something like that, I'm going back to the surgeon again for more advice as to how we're gonna proceed. So I'm about 12 weeks post-op. Um, whether the physical therapist or the surgeon approves it or not, I am doing some things on my own on the side. Um, not doing more weight on the bicep, but in terms of using a machine to press a little bit more weight to utilize my pecs. Um, I am still doing a, a, a leaning push-up, but instead of doing it now on a countertop, I'm now doing it on like a bench, so it's, it's a little bit more resistance. Everything's slow and controlled. I haven't had really any pain or anything feeling abnormal whatsoever. I still have a little bit of tendonitis in my left elbow that tends to peek its ugly head every now and again um, that they've been working on to get rid of. But I feel like if I just keep waiting around uh, that I'm going to get absolutely nowhere fast and I do not feel like sitting around for another three months doing the same crap I'm doing right now. I feel like it should be progressively getting harder and more difficult and challenging so that by the time they give me the full green light, I'll basically, I mean, I'm not going to be exactly where I was, but I should be within striking distance that within a matter of a couple months, I should be able to press as much, curl as much, something to that extent, I would think. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm expecting too much, maybe I'm a little too gung-ho, but it's just been like never-ending, like, sissy stuff, in my opinion. I'm like, I'm not really doing anything that's hard, I really haven't progressed in any weights, I really haven't up upscaled the, the amount of reps or sets or anything, so I'm like... So somebody's got to do something here because I, I, it's just, I feel like they're equipped to handle somebody who's just going to use their arm on a day-to-day -day basis who mainly either sits at a desk and does not much or nothing or sits on the couch and does much or nothing. They're not really fully equipped to handle a, a bodybuilder who, who's trying to put that muscle on as much strain as possible and get it to develop. So I'm wondering if I have to stay with the same physical therapist or they need to put me more on a outsourced physical therapist where that's more one-on-one -on -one to get this process moving so that's really why i haven't posted anything and i know some people say oh it's you know be interesting to see but i find it tediously boring and mind-numbing uh i literally walk in and, you know i walk in and within 25 minutes i've completed every exercise they can give me uh and then the, then i'm sitting around waiting for some ice and for them to you know massage the area to work on the 10 more than anything so that's why i haven't put anything up and I don't think they'd be comfortable with me filming because there's other people in there doing their PT who might not want to be on camera. So that's my update guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free below.